Hi guys, before this video actually starts, I wanted to jump in here and just kind of, I guess, set the stage for, I guess, when this was filmed and what we were doing. So back in uh, February, like before kind of 2020 went on fire, um, I had just passed the like 3,900 and like 90-ish like mark for subscribers and so I knew I was going to, or I thought I was going to be hitting 4,000 subscribers sooner than I eventually did and since before you know lockdown and quarantine uh, my life was actually fairly hectic and busy like I was constantly out either commuting to the office I was traveling on the weekends I was doing a lot of other stuff so I didn't have a whole lot of time to film like longer videos like this one so when uh, my boyfriend and I had a free weekend back in February I was like hey let's go ahead and pre-film you know the 4,000 subscriber video because I really wanted to do his makeup for the 4,000 video because for the 2,000 subscriber video he did my makeup and we had so much fun there and I was like you know what once we hit 4,000 I'll do his makeup and I thought it'd be fun and I think uh, at this time not only are we not only do we have a duty to do what's best for our community for our fellow citizens we also still have to take care of ourselves you know it's like um, what is it you know you always have to put on the, the air mask on yourself first before you can help out others what I'm trying to say is I want everyone to also focus on your mental health and not overexert yourselves where you can't. And I just kind of wanted this video, I thought this would be a good time to put it out because everyone could use a little bit of lightheartedness right now. If you're looking for a little bit of an escape here on YouTube or somewhere else, uh, you're more than entitled to that. So that's what I wanted to put here. This was filmed back in February and it's just some lighthearted fun that I think we could all use especially now so thank you guys for 4,000 subscribers I'm honestly I'm so happy like I almost I almost cried when it happened and I was getting congratulated by people because this isn't just like this isn't just like a number on a screen these are people people that watch my videos you know the same people who comment over and over like I know you guys and I refer to you like as my friends when I talk to other people it's like oh so my friend commented on this post and blah 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 so I see you and I love this community and I'm just so happy that I get to be here and do this and have such a great hobby that brings so many different people together. So thank you and I hope you guys enjoy the silly video. The silly little video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're celebrating four thousand subscribers which is awesome yes four we're technically i mean we're pre-filming this a little bit we're less than 100 subscribers away from four thousand and i i'm just really happy with the way this channel has turned out and the cute little community i've been able to create here i've had more and more people message me on instagram and just talking about makeup and just i love the whole community and i never thought i would help oh, there he is I never thought I would hit a thousand subscribers, much less four thousand. So, in honor of this, my, you can keep kicking me. In honor of this milestone, I'm actually going to be doing for the first time someone else's makeup, and that someone else is not this corgi, but Alvin, my boyfriend. Squish, squish. <laughs> I've literally never done someone else's makeup before, so this could turn out terrible. And honestly, I think it probably will. But we're gonna do our best. Ain't that right? And if you haven't already met Rex, he's been in a few videos in this channel. I'll throw one of them up on the in the cards if you want to. He's, he's like made for the camera. He's just like, yep, I'm ready. What are we doing? Excuse me, where is my spotlight? Yeah, he, he likes attention. No. So we're going to do my boyfriend's makeup today and celebrate 4,000 subscribers. Before we jump in, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this kind of challenge and different videos. If you want to see Rex and Alvin and more videos, let me know down below and make sure you're also subscribed. All right, let's jump. Let's put them down and let's get started. I've literally never done someone's makeup before, so this is going to be a learning process for both of us. <laughs> Shall we start with foundation? We start with primer. So actually, first we start with getting our hair out of the way. So why don't you take off your little... Yes, take that off. That could also be used as a headband. No, I can't. <laughs> You're so tall. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, wait. 
No, I got <laughs> I got you a cute headband. <laughs> No, you gotta... You missed the hair right here. <gasps> You're beautiful. Ah, oh, how cute. Okay, meow. So, for... You're not a cat girl. <laughs> for primer, uh, I was gonna use the Poreless Putty primer, but you don't have any pores, fuck you. So, um, let's just go in with the primer water. So we're gonna do a spray. So, close your mouth and close your eyes and don't open them. No, don't squinch. Don't scrunch, just... There. Now let that dry. Don't you feel beautiful already? You are a beautiful person. For your skin, because your skin is so dark and not like mine, uh, I had to see which foundations might actually match you. So just for shits and giggles, I'm going to swatch... Am I as dark as your darkest, or...? I don't know. We're going to find out. So this is my current shade match. <laughs> it is not you. No. And then this is actually the darkest foundation I have. This is from Misha, and it's the BB Cream. Hey, that's not actually bad. That's, like, really dark on me, and I have to lighten it, but I think mm -hmm. that might actually work for you. Especially because mm -hmm. it's a BB Cream, so it's not supposed to be full coverage. It's supposed to be light and uh, light coverage, so we will use that. We're not going to use this one because it's a full coverage foundation. That's mine. Let's use this. And I got, I should, you know what would have helped? If I had grabbed the brushes before we sat down, but I didn't. Yeah. So. I am going to put this on with a brush first. Don't squish your face, just relax. Pretend like you're at a spa. Don't pass out. Also, don't lick your face. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to dot a little bit over here. Can you, not all the way, like right there. Perfect. So, again. Okay, it's just the beard are the eyeshadows of the lower face. It's, I really don't know how to work around a beard. We're going to find out. But also, this is just a preliminary application. I'm going to go in and smooth this out with a sponge in just a minute. There are spots. How do I get these? <laughs> Try dabbing. <laughs> ha. Normally, you do that on me. Yeah. I, that felt good. <laughs> okay, can you go like... Uh, perfect. Because there's a little bit around your nose. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a sponge. Oh, do you feel relaxed? Oh, this looks really good on you. You jelly. Shut up. <laughs> how does it feel? This is your first time wearing makeup, right? Yes. So, what do you what are you feeling? How are you? Is it supposed to feel itchy? Uh, a little when you first start, yeah. Mm. Oh, also, if you're itchy, don't touch your face. Use a sponge and don't blah, 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 wherever it itches. Okay. Don't don't squish. Okay, I think. Well, okay, I think we're looking good. Can you do this? Beautiful. Okay, it looks a little dry around your nose, but I think that's... Just my skin? It might just be your skin, because you don't do any skincare. Ever. That doesn't look bad. Nice. So, we gotta do your forehead next. So, there should be a little bit of product left on the brush. So, we'll go in. Simba. Put your eyebrows down. <laughs> what do you think? It actually matches you pretty decently. Oh. Oh, wow, that's bright. Yeah. <laughs> so back up. Let's get this adjusted again. Should we bring out the mirror? You so wanna, I don't have to do... Do you want to look? I didn't know if you actually wanted to see your face or not. Do you want to see your face? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, let me get you then a mini mirror. A compact. So that's just foundation. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to... Hold on. What? Is that hair? Right there. Right where? In your nose? No. On my nose. <laughs> the ridge of my nose. It could be a blackhead. Mm-hmm. 
Let me smooth it out, but it could very well be a black head that's sticking out. Mm -hmm. Makeup can't help with that. <laughs> okay. Foundation is done, and Rex is Borfin. I had to pick out my darkest concealer, and I think this is it. So this is from Kylie. Mm -hmm. This is the concealer in Gypsum. So let me just dot a little bit. Okay, it's bright, but I think it'll work for you. So just a couple of dots on each side. Try not to raise your eyebrows, because you're going to crease up there. <laughs> Beautiful. So you know a little trick about concealer is if you want it to be fuller coverage, you put it on and you let it sit for a few minutes. That way it gets a little bit thicker and then when you blend it out, it's more full coverage. The more you know. If I recall correctly, this is the step that you put me in a uh, headlock. A headlock to do. <laughs> Camera. <laughs> Are we wrestling? It's a headlock of love. <laughs> sure. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Open your eyes and like look like this. Oh, <gasps> perfect. Okay. So before that creases, I'm gonna go ahead and set it. I don't have that many dark setting powders at, at all, so I'm gonna try using this Milani face powder in the shade four, which I have to use as a bronzer now. So, uh, yep. Don't move and. Stop it. Don't provoke him. You are becoming a beautiful person. You cannot provoke him. <laughs> hey! Stop it. Uh, okay, it doesn't look... Rex! You have nothing to contribute here. You're overblowing the audio, buddy. Yes. Stop. How beautiful. 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 Now. Is it pretty... Is it a cover girl? Are you a cover girl? You want to be on top? Stop. <laughs> that was a next top model joke. Oh, I hate you. Okay. You don't need these. So next for bronzer and contour, the only like dark palette I have is this one from uh, Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. And I think I have to take like this almost darkest shade of bronzer and I'm gonna see how it looks on you so I need you to not be wiggling <laughs> here come on okay he you can pet him in a little bit just look right here you are set so if anything this might be easier for you because your beard gives you the line where you would want to like bronze and contour so I wonder if that's an advantage to men who do makeup they already have kind of like an outline but one day near, but when they need to blend into the bird, maybe we'll find out. <laughs> I personally, you see where your hairline goes up right here. Mm -hmm. That's also where, like, I throw a little bit of bronzer. Would it be similar to doing the bird, I, the hairline? I guess kind of. So I blended it in a little bit down there. So do you see a difference in like this side of the face? No, that the camera's the too far away. So you now have bronzer on this side. Yeah. I see it. So you see a little bit? Okay, look at me. Ooh. Ooh, who is she? <laughs> she it. Okay. I don't think I need to I don't think you need contour. I think you've got okay. cheekbones. <laughs> So you don't have to fake cheekbones because you already have cheekbones. Yes, you do. So I'm gonna skip contour on you because I think you look good with just the bronzer. But next we're gonna go to, do you wanna guess? Highlight. Almost. Blush. Blush. We're gonna do some blush. And we've got the shades here. We've also got 
See, the thing is, I just, I don't know what's going to show up on your skin. Because <laughs> I am Casper. So let's try this one first. This is a matte blush. And I'll just dab off a little. And just up here. Hey, look at me. That didn't show up at all. <laughs> so let's try this one. This is the California Blush from Benefit. It's a little bit glowier, but I think it's gonna actually show up on you. Uh, I think it kind of showed up. I think so. Yeah, we'll do. We'll use this one. Yeah, we're gonna drape. Oh, he looks so pretty with the headband. And why don't you have a YouTube channel? Steal my brand. <laughs> Look at me. Oh. Personally, I like to add a little bit of blush down here, but there's beard, so. <laughs> I'll just add a little bit down here just to give you a little bit of color back down here. And I forgot to ask you at the beginning, would you prefer a lipstick or a lip gloss? What's the difference? The lipstick is either the bullet or the liquid, and it's like a solid kind of color. Mm -hmm. Lip gloss is, my lip gloss is hot, my lip gloss is popping. It's like, like a chapstick but glossier. Hmm. I'll show you them. Because I picked out a lipstick, but I didn't mm -hmm. know if you would be wanting to wear it. Do whatever. For highlight, we're almost done with the face. So we're going to use some problematic shit. This is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And this is the highlighter in Ice Cold, which I think might be too light for you. Because it's literally just like a bright white. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try it and see what happens. Okay. Try not to sneeze. This is going to go on your upper lip and the tip of your nose. Okay. Give you a cute little button nose. Oh, I think, oh, I want, looks more like Coke nose. Then. Shut it. No. <laughs> we can fix it. We can fix it. We tone it back down with some powder. It looks like Coke nose. <laughs> How did I do this? I Maybe didn't, you went too white with that. I didn't mean to. You're not supposed to look like a Coke head. Okay. We're just going to go back over with the face powder and just hide it. Okay, look at me. Oh, it still looks kind of coquette-y. My bad. <laughs> okay, that looks better. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, so now let's do just a little bit on the tops of your cheekbones over here. And well, I like to do a V where it comes up over the eyebrow and then comes down this way. So I'm gonna do like that. Like a framing. Kind of. Can you look towards me the other way? And beautiful. Oh, you've got a little bit more texture on this side of your face. Oh no. That's the thing about highlighters, like they can show texture a little bit. So I think you've got more texture on that side of your face. Do I have trucker face? <laughs> It just, it just seems like you're extra dry right here, right? Mm. Okay, can I just point out, you see the nice way I'm holding your head in place while I'm doing this and not putting you in a headlock? <laughs> it's a headlock of love. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now open. Ooh, nice highlight. And I think we are done with the face. So we're halfway there. Mm. Copyrighted music, Alvin. <laughs> okay, so how are you feeling so far? Does it feel like you thought it would feel? I gotta say, you look gorgeous. I have zero expectations going into this. Yes, I know, but I'm curious because it's been so long since I started wearing makeup that I don't remember exactly what it felt like when I first started. Good, but it did take me a long time to get used to. It took me, like, months mm -hmm. to build up to actually, like, wear makeup, like, at work. Mm-hmm. And it's... I don't know. It makes me nostalgic. It's been a while. Mm. So I'm kind of curious. Does it feel thick? Does it feel... Itchy? I'm hoping that, if anything, the setting spray we're about to spray is going to make that a little bit easier. A little itchy around the uh, corners of my eyes to my cheekbone. 
Okay, so just wear the. Is it because of the brush? Maybe. It was a fluffier brush. Might. So it might be a little bit squishier. So, next we're gonna do setting spray. But before you close your eyes, can you reach over and grab me the fan? I'm going to use a combination of Fix Plus from MAC and the Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray in front no of your face. Glow. Dewy Glow. So, close your eyes and try not to squish because um, if you squish when it's wet, then we're gonna crease your makeup. and breezy easy easy <clears throat> beautiful like cover a cover girl. girl you're leaning too much over this way oh. <laughs> you're out of frame for the 5k you want to do a interview with the child interview what is what does he have to offer his mascara his <laughs> you mean his liner yes everyone Everyone hates him. What are his liner secrets? I gotta say, it's actually a lot harder to fan someone else than it is to fan yourself. Where do I need to fan? Just all over your face. Until you feel it's dry. You gotta say, bless her heart. Bless her heart. <laughs> she had a hard laugh. Oh, God. <laughs> Why do you sound like Colonel Sanders? <laughs> Oh, it looks so pretty. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you said you wanted green eyeshadow. So I brought out several options for green eyeshadow, including you like the beep boops. The, the cowboy boops. beep boops. This is a cowboy beep bop shade, but it is a glitter. <laughs> you said you didn't want glitter, it. but it's cowboy beep boops. Know it. But before we do that, that would go all over your lid. We need to pick color story damn it that you want so which colors speak to you we have the Layla 2 oh wow my I just got that southern accent from you we have the Layla 2 from blush tribe you can stand there I can just put it over your face we have the smoke sessions palette from melt and we have the just my luck palette from ColourPop beautiful so which one are you more drawn to because these are more like icy blue kind of greens this is yellowy kind of greens and these are more old brown i think the earthy greens you like the earthy greens okay so we're gonna, my thing so we're gonna go with the color pop palette so the first thing you do before eyeshadow is you prime um, I don't have a primer. I think that would match you. So we're just going to use the same concealer we used mm -hmm. all over your lids. Now, this is probably going to be the most difficult part for you because you're not used to having anything on your eyelids. <laughs> so, prepare yourself. I tasted that. Oh, God. <laughs> you're gross. And while I, I did better than I expected on your face, but... This is going to be the hard part, is the eyeshadow. So, I'm going to have to stand up around you for this. Headlock. I'm not going to headlock you. I am a consummate professional. So, just keep your eyes closed and tilt slightly up just like that. I will do my best. Also, I didn't really do anything to your eyebrows. I think they look fine as it is. If anything, I might just go through with a brow gel. Is my eyebrow game strong? Uh, no. <laughs> it's not. But they are thick. Shut up. Family friendly content. I guess that's family friendly. I'm gonna sponge it. And then I'm gonna set it with a powder. Technically, I don't know if I have to because your lids aren't really hooded. You've got basically a mono lid. But I don't know how to work the shadow unless I set it. So I don't want to experiment too much. I'm actually going to do my best to make this look good. My brand is on the line here. Okay, and you can open your eyes for a bit. Now your eyes are primed. How does it feel? Itchy. That's how it's supposed to. Can you do me a favor, my love, and open up that first drawer and bring me out the sponge-looking contraption? Thank you. Now, 
Do you want me to fix the drawer? It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, it does its job. Now, I'm actually going to do my best here to make a very pretty look. I think I'm going to start with this light shade and then go deeper green. And then how do you feel about this all over your lid? Maybe yours a deep inner corner highlight. Okay, we'll see. So I'm going to take the first brush and let's start with your transition. <laughs> okay, I won't make you laugh, I swear. Okay, turn slightly towards me. So I'm gonna try and do these at the same time so they match, because otherwise I will fuck this up. Okay, I got a little bit of fallout, so I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and brush away from right under your eye. That looks so pretty on you, babe. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the next darker shade, which be I'm also I didn't do a disclaimer at the beginning. I will add that in. But I am not an actual makeup artist. <laughs> okay? So. Should I give you that wing that I like? I'm gonna give you a wing. Okay, okay. Ooh, I got inspiration. Sorry. What inspiration strikes? Okay, so here. Oh shit! Who is she? Oh shit, you're, you're gonna look so freaking hot. Here, let me do this side. Holy shit, Miss Thang. I gotta clean up a little bit on that side, but holy shit, you looking good. Shape. I love the colors on you. Is it easier on another person than yourself? Or? I don't think so, but I'm having fun. This is actually interesting. Oh, okay, I, want to, I still want to deepen it up a little bit with that same dark green. I'm just going to blend it a little bit more into the lighter green section. Ooh, I like this. I'm going to just build up that lighter green a little bit more on the inside. Open your eyes. Holy shit, you look amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and just brush off that excess underneath. And, uh, ooh, you looking good. Before we do your lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with that shimmer shade all over your lid. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's a fuck ton of makeup. <laughs> okay, glitter glue. Then we're gonna go in with this really pretty shimmer shade all over your lid and it will almost be done mm. how do you feel i feel pretty oh, oh so, so pretty, pretty. copywriters so gonna fuck this shit up not if we sing it off key no. <laughs> okay so close your eyes again i'm gonna go in with a uh, glitter glue which is gonna feel a little different on your lid i'm gonna try and create a like a cut crease kind of shape this is a little bit more difficult on someone else. Oh god. Are you done? <laughs> Open your eye and look at me. Oh shit! Who is she? So I need to do a little bit of blending on the outer corner with our light and dark green shades. So this blends seamlessly. Open your eyes. Ooh. What do you think of the top? Every time I thought this is my heart. <laughs> Every time I look. Meow. You like it so far? It's cute. I'm shocked that it looks that good. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Stop it. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to do your lower lash line. Mm -hmm. And then mascara mm -hmm. so let's do a little bit of cleared up the way i like to do the lower lash line is you take the darkest shade first and what you're going to want to do is keep your eye open but look up nope okay so stay here but your eyes your eyes look up 
Why do you look like you're possessed? Just look. <laughs> Just look up. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. So that's what's going to happen. I'm going to get right up to your lash line. Which you don't actually have any lash. You've got, okay, you've got baby lashes on your lower lash line. But I'm going to be right up there. Okay. Look up. And try not to think about it. <laughs> that might this might be the headlocks part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna stab you. I swear. <laughs> stab it. <laughs> okay. Is it like giving a dog a pill? I guess. So you keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> This is, I guess this is your hard part. You don't, you don't like it being right there. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. Maybe you should close your eye then. And I'll just try getting all up in here. Okay, that worked. So, first eye closed and then... Well, no, I, I had part. to start with it open. Mm -hmm. I can blend with it closed, but we gotta start with it open. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be the hard part for you. But we're almost done. <laughs> okay, I think we got it. So, uh, close your eyes. I'm ready for Mardi Gras. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> okay, so now I, uh, mascara I think will be a bit of a challenge for you. Because of oh. your mono lid, your lashes are a bit underneath your actual, like, lid. So I don't want to go in with a lash curler <laughs> and, like, potentially mess something up, so... You're going to go in a full lash curler. And what do I do? So I'll show you how I use it so you can see. Because what you have to do is grab the lashes in here. Mm -hmm. So you line them up like that. Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm -hmm. And then you squish them. And then you see a difference? Honest answer. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't see a difference. No. It's, it, help, it It brings them up a slight bit. Yes. Best practice is to keep it on for eight Mississippis. I normally don't have time for that. <laughs> You but, don't have time for that? No. So that's kind of the general practice. So mm -hmm. I would suggest that you do it because I really don't want to stab you in the eye. But if you can't make it, then it's okay. Nope. Yeah, make sure you don't... Oh. You're doing great, sweetie. I don't see a difference. <laughs> Do Just... you see a difference? No. <laughs> okay. Should we just skip it then? I guess. We'll try. But, like, I don't know how to put mascara on your... Let's see. I'm going to use a card because I really don't want to get mascara all over your pretty eyeshadow that I just worked so hard on. So, I'm going to take this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to need you to open your eyes. Your, your, yeah, your lashes go. Okay, so open your eyes. I'm it gonna, goes into my eyelid. Yeah, so like this, I think. <laughs> I got a little bit of a on your lid, but I think... I gotta say, I've never actually had to worry about the way my lashes are, but with like a mono lid, I guess it's different. I didn't do any research on this. <laughs> um, so let me just try it on this side. Oh, that side went a lot better. That side looks good. So maybe we shouldn't have curled them. Are you, are you okay? Are you tripping out? <laughs> How do they feel? <laughs> they look beautiful. So now you're almost done. So you've got your base. You look really good right now. I'm kind of pissed. Okay. So your eyes are done. Everything's done. The last step is lipstick. Mm -hmm. So, I had picked this one out, but I think that's a... Oh, actually, that could... No! <laughs> you don't eat the lipstick. But I... Eh. Stop! <laughs> I think that could look cute with this eye look. But your lips are so freaking dry. <laughs> I know that the minute we put this on, it's gonna... Probably not be comfortable, because your lips are hella dry. But, we're gonna do our best. So, I want you to do this. Like, bite your lips and scrub them. 
Come out like a turtle. Because basically you're scrubbing your own lips. Okay, now go normal. That's not normal. <laughs> this is my favorite lipstick of all time. You don't know it. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in Rebel Rose. Oh, here, you be the booty guru. You try it. Here. Ooh, who is she? <laughs> I can see now why Jenna Marbles loves doing shit to Julian. This is a lot mm -hmm. of fun. <laughs> okay. So I want you to slightly part your lips. Part. Open your mouth. There you go. It's actually pretty close to your lip color. So this is actually a decent, like, berry nude for you. Okay. This is going to be a little hard. Your top lip is a little thin. Okay, now don't squish your lips together, but close your mouth. Beautiful! Look at you! And strike a pose for the final look. No, <laughs> you're not dead. <laughs> oh, you look so cute. Look at look in the camera. Oh God. <laughs> you look like the Joker. Okay, now that you're done scaring everyone, <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god, that was fun. Here's a mirror. This is your final look. I, I So I see room for improvement um, on the eyeshadow and lashes a little bit. But honestly, I am shocked with how good I was able to make your base look. Mm. I think like your foundation, your concealer, your powder, it looks awesome. Mm-hmm. We'll do a quick photo shoot after here, and I'll throw some cute photos, because I don't know if it's all coming up on camera Jojo as well. Jojo pose. Do you can do a Jojo pose if you want to do a Jojo pose. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. There must be something bad to feature. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her, you see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be here. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life, puts on a show. Final thoughts. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> and I think I, I did a lot better than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. What about you? <sighs> oh my god. Well, you're very pretty. Thank you for letting me experiment on you. Thanks for being my guinea pig. This is the first time I've done makeup on somebody else, and I think it turned out decent. So, thank you guys again so much for 4,000 subscribers. Let me know down below if there are any other videos you want to see with Rex and with Alvin. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Oh. Oh. Do Stitch. Important. Do Stitch. Which one? And which one? Lilo and Stitch. I'm thinking of Kirby right now. What? <laughs> this on. is my family. I can't do Stitch. You did this it once. Is yes. My family. Yes, that one. Or Hannah me means family. family. <laughs> now say bye. Bye. <laughs>